Saturday night again. Background music on the TV. Okay. I really enjoy being with you and having a good time. Yes, good time. No matter that a house doesn't have a roof. It doesn't have a roof. Any place is fine if we're together. Isn't that sweet? Roman. I love you too. I've waited all week for this moment to come and sit down to enjoy some 30 year old trashy horror movie. Hey, the older ones are the better ones. Fortunately, it's not raining and our things will get wet. Not having a roof is complicated, but the rent is so cheap. And I wonder what the rent will be with no roof. The forecasters ain't predicting rain. You know, they always get it right. They don't always get it right. They don't know how they do it. They don't get it right. They don't. It's true. I love the forecasters. They always get it right. What will we do without them? Nothing bad can happen tonight. We have to enjoy. And there we go. He just said it and something bad is going to happen. As soon as you say that, something bad happens. My head hurts a bit. Could you make me some linden tea? I can. I can make you that. Okay. I'm coming, love. Let's go make some tea. Wow, I wonder if that's actually off a movie. Ooh. The brains. I wonder what he's watching. It's very trashy. Right. Let's make some... Wow, look at that scenery. Does everyone else have no roof? Probably the guys on the top. I actually have no... I have no roof. That's very interesting. Okay, must never rain in this place. So, it's a teacup, a mug. I can use it to make tea for Roman. I can. Or a jug. Kettle, it is. Heat water, there we go. First, I turn on the stove. Oh, there we go. The flame looks kind of orange. Could be dangerous. Is orange good or blue bad? I never remember. We should buy one of those fancy electric kettles when we have money. Okay. We should buy one of those fancy electric kettles. What's that red thing? Is that an apple? I have to visit my mum next week. Sure. I have been postponing it for two months already. Wow, you should really visit your mum. Almost there. Taste it on the boil. I'm getting anxious. Done. Nope, it's not done. Is it ready? I don't know. The water is hot and ready to make tea. Okay, we're good. Let's make tea. I'm like, I can use it. Like, like, i find the tea bags. Oil. That is oil. What's that? I don't even know. What's that? Vinegar. You have oil and vinegar and flour. Oil, vinegar, and flour. And tea bags. It is. Grab a tea bag. Put it in the cup. Mug. It is. Put tea bag in. Pour a hot water. The tea is ready. Yay! Oh, they look like eviction notices. Oh, Jesus. My head's swelling up. Quick, drink this. My head hurts. Yes, I can tell. I must be getting sick. That's an odd sickness. Is my head big? Could you say I have a big head? Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just... Had to get sick on the weekend. That always happens to me. I get sick right, like, probably Friday afternoon. It's my weekend. If I have a fever, a thermometer, a thermometer, for, for, whatever. God, my words are getting messed up. It's in the bathroom. Yes, I know what it is. The temperature thingy. For some reason, I can't say it. It's in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom. It must be in here. Here it is. I found it. Grab it. Grab it. Yes, grab it. Yes. Let's go. 
I'm sticking him in his victim. Wow. Wow. Are you okay? You're okay. Check if I have a fever. Yes. Everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. Must be a flu. Odd flu. So what is it going to be? What's the temperature? It's going to hit all the way to the top, isn't it? Yeah. Your head is indeed a bit bigger. But not that much. <laughs> it's like ten times the size of his normal head. We just have to wait till it gets to the red. And we can carry on. So every time I leave the room, it's going to get bigger, isn't it? If you're still feeling bad, we can go to the hospital. I don't think his head will fit in a car. I've taken the temperature. Alright, what's his temperature? You have a raging fever. A raging huge head. I can't take it anymore. My head is exploding. Bring me the pills from the bedside table. The bedside table. Let's go get them. Bedside table. What's that? It's a, it's a tennis ball. Well, it says Tommy, I don't really know where it came from. Radio's been annoying. Anything in here? No. Yeah, that's what we need. Yes, the painkiller's taken. Let's go. Holy shit! Yeah, every time I leave, it gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> I don't think this will be enough. I feel like my brain is trying to escape through my ears. My head feels heavy. It's hard to keep it on my shoulders. I'm starting to think this might not be normal. <laughs> and when is your having a huge head normal? It's probably best to call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. I'm about to faint. Let's call an ambulance. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Let's ring. A phone. Yes, it is. Call an ambulance. Come on. Pick up. Look at that. Look at that. Picture. Come on. Come on, answer. It's an emergency. <laughs> I need the ambulance and I don't answer. I wonder if anyone else is going for all this. Come on. Answer the phone. Oh, okay, we got the bedroom. Here we go, operator. Good evening. What emergency assistance do you need? My husband has a very large head. Very large head, you say? Your husband has a very large head. Yes, I just said that. Yes. All services are currently overwhelmed. Something is going on. We're receiving hundreds of calls saying that. People have big heads, very big. We have to stay calm and wait for everything to pass. Don't think that's going to pass. Find a safe place to stay away from people with big heads. Oh, great. It could be contagious. As far as we know, it's happening all over the country. In addition to the floods. Floods? What floods? At the front of the line, sorry. Can't believe they're not going to help us. Floods. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh, are you okay? Noise moving. Floors flooding. Um, what if my head's big? Is there a mirror? We don't have a mirror in this house. Well, um, you're fucked. <laughs> there must be something all over the place. Hang in there. This damn forecast has got it wrong, it's raining. Yeah, 
things are wet. What's going on? Are you okay? Oh. What? Why? Why is it? Why does his brain come out? Come out? What? What? Um. What language is that? What? Okay, I'm, I'm um, weirded out. <laughs> it's just odd. I don't understand what the hell. There's something else in the water? Can't move. Oh, did my brain come out? Okay, that's super. Uh. What kind of sickness is this? People's heads swell out, swell up. Their brains pop out. And now they're floating away. <laughs> Bye, brain. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Oh, another one over there. Oh, there's shitloads. Okay, their brains just um had enough of their host and decided to leave. They're off to a brain planet. Far, far away. They're not feel full of helium, are they? Not floating. This is really, really odd. I don't understand what's going on. Why are people's brains just popping out and floating? <laughs> they need answers.